Our topic for today is Irene pushed Claire out of the window. Arguing for the affirmative side, we have Caitlin Flater, and for the negative side, we have Mari Cruz Sanchez. Starting us off today, we have Mari arguing against the point that Irene pushed Claire out of the window. Thank you, Lindsay. Hello, everyone. Today, I am here to argue against the statement that Irene pushed Claire out of the window and killed her. My purpose is to convince you that Claire Kendry committed suicide and Irene did not push her out of the window. I first want to start off by giving you a little bit of background on Claire and Irene's relationship. Claire and Irene were childhood friends who lost contact when Claire moved away. They reunited one day many years later when they were both in Chicago. Now I'm going to focus more on Claire. After their reunion, the relationship between the two progressed and Claire became good friends with Irene as well as with her husband. Claire became happy with her new life that she kept secret from her husband, John. She was relieved to spend some time away from her racist husband who was completely unaware of her African American roots. Now let's go, now let's get to what really caused Claire to go overboard. Claire had been dealing with some inner turmoil as a result of her passing. She had been stuck in this liminal place where she was unable to be fully black or fully white. It is difficult to not belong to one culture and it would drive any person mad with loneliness and frustration. The night of the incident, Claire's husband had just found out that Claire had been lying to him for years about her race. This brings me back to the main point that Claire committed suicide. Claire was in a dangerous situation considering how strongly her husband dislikes all black people. There's no telling what kind of harm he could have caused her if he was given the chance. Claire's composed nature and slight smile proves my next point. Claire was resigned to her fate and she had accepted the end. She was calm and even a little amused while her husband's harsh words were coming at her. She would not have been so docile if she was really concerned about her future safety. It is also impossible to prove that Irene pushed her out of the window. There was a lot of commotion at the time and Irene did not remember enough to know for sure what happened. Looking back on the story and, it, and all that took place leading up to and after the incident, it is clear that Irene did not push Claire, but Claire committed suicide. Thank you. My name is Caitlin Flater and I'm here arguing for the affirmative side that Irene did push Claire. My opponent might try to convince you that Claire's death was not Irene's doing, but I am here to assure you that Irene is completely responsible for the ongoings of that night. Irene had many motives to push Claire out of that window. She was angry at the alleged affair between Claire and Irene's husband, Brian. Irene was worried that a divorce between her and Brian would ruin their family dynamic and have a negative impact on their children. Since Claire's husband had not known that she was white, when he did find out, he would want nothing to do with her. The terrified Irene became because this terrified Irene because she was scared of Claire being free from her husband. The fear of losing her husband to Claire was partially what caused her to act violently. Not only did Irene hate Claire because of the affair, but she was frustrated at the fact that Claire did not sh share in the same pride in her race as Irene did. Irene identified as a black woman and was proud of where she came from. Claire passed and identified as white. She did not care about her race anymore and that upset Irene. The final straw for Irene was when John found out the truth about Claire's race. Claire should have been scared of John's anger, but instead she had a composed nature and was actually smiling. Irene had had enough of Claire taking light of the situation, so she pushed her out of the window. This was proven when it said Irene ran across the room, her terror tinged with ferocity, and laid a hand on Claire's bare arm. Irene was conveniently touching Claire the exact moment she fell. It was also stated that Irene Redfield never afterwards allowed herself to remember. She just happened to forget the details. Irene was not afraid at Claire's falling like everyone else. She simply sat down and told herself it was an accident, a terrible accident. Irene is trying to convince herself that people believe it was an accident. She wanted Claire to be dead, but she didn't want others to know she committed the murder. Irene's actions and thoughts after the incident, after the incident Event. She knew exactly what she did. Considering all of these facts, it is impossible to draw any other conclusion other than that Irene was at fault for Claire's death. Thank you.